everyone good morning good afternoon good evening all depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again and thank you once again for all you do for this channel god bless you we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country obaseki attacks President Buhari as lawless and without discipline, but he paints a picture of himself, John Mayaki. John Mayaki has just uh, put out a statement out there. We know recently uh, uh, Governor Godin Obaseki stated a major cause of the insecurity in the country uh, tied it to the mismanagement of um, the APC leadership under President Mohamed Buhari. And, you know, he made a lot of um, statements. That was during one of um, their PDP meetings. He made that statement a couple of days ago. John Mayaki is reacting right now. He's the one making all of these statements that um, all the claims that Obaseki has just made about APC and President Mohamed Buhari that is actually talking about himself. It's so shocking anyway. Um, APC is the opposition state, um, party in a those state. And uh, we know how the politics is being played. Now that um, APC is now the opposition, it's going to be allegations and counter-allegations. Mayaki has put out a statement um, reacting to Governor Obaseki's statement, recent statement regarding um, what is the cause or what is the reason behind the insecurity that the whole country is currently facing. We'll bring you all of those details shortly, guys, but please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Barely a month after Governor Gordon Obaseki of Edo State caused a controversy that exposed his economic illiteracy and laid bare his proclivity for reckless and malicious utterances, the governor who continues to operate a detector with no state cabinet months after election recently announced his new quest to rescue Nigeria. He made known this while receiving members of the South South PDP Working Committee of the PDP in Benin. Addressing the press after the event, he displayed once again his iron determination to undermine and discredit the administration of President Mohamed Buhari and the All-Progressive Congress with opportunistic attacks, which sadly politicizes serious issues. He criticized President Buhari and his party for purportedly managing the country with lawlessness and indiscipline and for the structural imbalance which he reckons is responsible for the security challenges the country is presently grappling with. Obaseki, who has been in the PDP for all of five minutes, ended his ramble with the declaration that he and the PDP are the only ones qualified to rescue the country. It is possible that Obaseki's long, long residence in the United States, where he nicked a living as a subpar stockbroker and is well-established in curiosity, which prevents him from any serious pursuit of education, may have dulled his knowledge of the country's democratic journey and recent history. But for the sake of the public who may be misled by his politically motivated rants, disguised as earnest criticism, will never tire of setting the record straight with hopes that he may himself learn a lesson or two. The same PDP governor, Obaseki, wants the people to reinvest their hope he enjoyed near total control of the country at both the federal and state level for 16 years, yet it had no answer to the structural imbalance the governor decries. It did not even try. Instead, the party further weakened and hallowed out the security institutions with mindless corruption that shook the world. Refusing to fund security agencies, the PDP instead tainted them with partisan bias, a legacy Obaseki has continued in Edo State following credible allegations of mismanagement of security votes and the abuse of state agencies as instruments of oppression and vendetta. Reports of the PDP's contribution to the proliferation of small arms and light weapons in the country are also in abundance with a detailed description of how non-state actors were armed and empowered across the country to serve as lieutenants and field enforcers of their infamous do-or-die politics. It was so bad, a president elected on the platform of the party admitted that the election that produced him was not free and fair. This was as recent as 2007. 
but Baseki may understandably not be aware considering he was actively contributing to the financial crisis that damaged the economy of the United States and caused a global recession as a third-rate stockbroker at the time. The list of the PDP woes that brought Nigeria to her knees did not end there. The party also made criminals out of able but gradually disillusioned youth with prolific management of the economy despite earning record oil revenue income for the most part of their forgettable 16-year reign. It is true that some challenges persist today, especially in the area of security, but the solution cannot come from the same party responsible for the challenges, particularly when it continues to record abject failure at the sub-national level in the state that it governs. And this brings us back to Edo State where Obaseki, who wants to play hero, presides as governor. Notable in the statement of the governor is a bare-faced lie that Edo State is relatively peaceful. If anyone wants to prove that the claim is a shameless and unnecessary lie, there is more than enough on the governor's own social media pages where his handlers have put a work rate that exceeds with the daily deletion and restrictions of comments from angry and aggrieved citizens. Families in Edo State are still mourning their loved ones lost to the widespread killings, adoption and daylight robberies recorded in virtually all parts of the state, including the capital city of Bini, where mobile money operators were forced to halt operations following targeted attacks and killings. These were all reported in the media, including the press conference called by the state chapter of the Nigerian Medical Association and the Nigerian Bar Association at the end of last year to lament rising insecurity in the state. For all intents and purposes, the record of Obaseki in Edo State is that of abject failure. Schools are under lock and key, trade has slipped into negative growth, debt continues to pile high, and democracy has been imperiled with an arm of government reduced to literally rubble. Yet the man who supervised all of these wants to rescue Nigeria. It is a classic case of a man adorned in rags sitting pompously and making loud promises of bespoke outfits to others. Governor Baseki needs to give it a rest. Attack on Buhari and APC will neither deflect attention from his glaring failure nor excuse them. John Mayaki has just um, replied um, Obaseki after Obaseki um, stated the cause of insecurity. John Mayaki is the uh, spokesperson of the All Progressive Congress APC. And then um, he has spoken on behalf of um, APC that Obaseki should stop criticizing President Mohamed Buhari. He has stated a lot. He stated a lot. Um, guys, let's hear your own take. Let's hear what you think down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.